up you guys so of course it's another shoe video if you've seen from my insane Paris haul some of the shoes I picked up in the video today I'm gonna to be covering two pairs of those shoes I'm gonna be talking about Saint Laurent's new boots they kind of released this year not necessarily new for one of the pair but another pair is actually a brand new style um, I got a lot of requests on Instagram and on the YouTube video to do a video on the shoes So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get started with everything So as you guys know, I picked up these shoes while I was in Paris And one of the styles I'm going to be talking about today And I'm looking at my screen right now because I want to make sure I get the name correctly Is the Saint Laurent Cigar Brush Suede Boots So let me go ahead and grab those really quickly and check them. This is Saint Laurent's take on what is kind of already existing out there on the market you might have seen this style similar to the Bottega Veneta lace-up version of their desert boots. Now, I prefer the Saint Laurent version much more for the simple fact that I actually prefer Saint Laurent suede over Bottega Veneta's. And these ones are a little bit more expensive than the Bottega Veneta ones, at least in euros they are. But I find that this style is more fitting to my my general take on what I like to purchase in boots. Saint Laurent boots are always tapered, so these ones are much more narrow compared to the Bottega Veneta ones. And the lace-up on this is, I, I don't want to say it's similar, but it has the same flow. And the ankle bound area right here, I want to say is a little bit slimmer than the Bottega Veneta one. Which I do like because I don't really have very thick ankles, so this hugs the ankle area and the lower calf area very very well. I do wear these in a size 42 and they are super duper comfortable. I already got a lot of compliments on them the first day I did wear them and I'll go ahead and pull out the other pair. So this is both pairs right here and it's just a really nice really clean boot. Now if you're kind of torn on which one to get the Bottega Veneta or the Saint Laurent I would really say it's up to you and you should try them out in store to kind of make your judgment and opinion on both of the pairs. What I will say is that I like the color of this much more than what Bottega Veneta has to offer. I want to say Bottega Veneta's version is a little bit lighter than this one. And I like this one because even though, you know, these might get dirty, you know, I feel like with dirt buildup, they will just look more and more nice. And I think that's what I love about the Saint Laurent Cigar Suede is that once you wear it in more and even if the shoe gets a little dirty um, it's such a rich dark chestnut cognac color that it really just blends and flows with the shoe and doesn't really um, make it look dirty or anything like that so these are the boots right here again on fit video will be at the end and in my regular Saint Laurent Wyatt or Eddie boots I do wear a size 42 and these are no different I wear a size 42 in these and considering the fact that they have a crepe sole this is my first crepe sole um, boot that I've owned and it's actually a very very comfortable sole and it doesn't really wear off or wear down that easily so I'm quite impressed and um, these are definitely um, a very instant favorite of mine and I would really recommend these if you are interested in the two. Now, obviously, these are a much more casual version of the next shoe that I am going to show you. So just keep in mind that if you do buy this boot, you it's not the easiest shoe to dress up like to a full dapper status. But you can get pretty close to that, you know. Styling wise, I would really recommend pairing this up with like a really rich pair of denims and a really nice clean button up shirt with the sleeves rolled up or thrown with a leather jacket on, little things like that. So this is, let me look at the screen again, the Saint Laurent Cigar Brush Suede Boot and in US dollars these retail for $7.95. And I want to so I forgot to mention Saint Laurent boots come in a box like this. I think I just forgot to mention it because I feel like I show shoe boxes so many times on my channel. If you want to go ahead and check out the haul video I did from Paris, which was quite a lengthy one, I will go ahead and list it in the information area of this video as always. And let me go ahead and show you this pair. So this is the Wyatt 40 Chelsea boot. If you want to see a video of me showing the black leather version of these, go ahead and look in the information area of this video again, or it should hopefully be listed somewhere in this video right now. Now, this boot I absolutely love, and I've already worn these shoes about three times already. They're absolutely comfortable. Um, they're not as hard to break in as my full leather version of this shoe. I love the heel height of this, and just so you know, not all Saint Laurent Chelsea boots are the same. 
the different numbers to the boots are going to let you know how tall the heel is. So the 30s are going to be the lowest profile, the 40s are going to be a more higher profile, and once you get into the 60s, that's a very, very high profile. Not, not a lot of guys are comfortable wearing that heel height. It's actually, I want to say, 2 to 3 inches of a heel height and very, very thick. Um, this is about 1.5 inches, if I am not mistaken. So compared to past year's models, this is a darker cigar suede. When these first launched, they were a much lighter cigar suede. And actually, these might not even be called cigar suede. I will put the formal shade name of this shoe coloring in the video right now. Absolutely love these. I do not regret these whatsoever. I paid, again, 695 euros for these while I was in Paris. Um, but with taxes here, this boot retails for over a thousand dollars here in the US or at least here in the Los Angeles area. So I, it was a steal to get this while I was over there because it was just a steal. I mean, there's nothing else to it. So I'll go ahead and show the other pair right now. I just wanted to kind of give a recap on these shoes and kind of go over just my general thoughts on them because I did get a lot of questions on them in the comment section on Instagram when I posted my little shopping bag and my shopping bag photo and then um, a photo wearing these boots and then also on the recent haul video so I just wanted to address them now if you were to ask me which ones would I recommend out of both of them it's very hard to say with the one I just showed you the re the Wyatt 40 model you can definitely dress it up and dress it down. You could wear a full on suit with this boot. It would look so sick and clean. With the other ones though, because of the laces, because of the crepe sole, you're kind of more limited to a more smart casual look. You really can't go all the way formal with them. Nonetheless, I do think they are very distinctive designs to own both of them, or at least I tell myself that, but I do think they are very different to own both of them and not just pick one over the other. But if I will say if you want to pick up just one and you only have budget for just one, I would really recommend the Wyatt 40 Chelsea boot. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and do the outfit video of these, and if you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and as I always say, until the next video, I'll see you guys then, and the on-fit video is going to start right now.